Good morning, everybody. We're just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. We're going to make a little bit of a road trip this morning. We're heading into Cleveland, Georgia, home of Babyland General Hospital. Babyland General Hospital is where Cabbage Patch Kids live and play until they're adopted. On site, bunny bees, which are bee-like creatures with rabbit ears that they use as wings, pollinate cabbages with magic crystals to make Cabbage Patch babies. And add to that, Colonel Casey is a large stock that oversees Babyland General Hospital. So we've made our way to Babyland General Hospital. Cleveland, Georgia, founded by Xavier Roberts. I'm sure you guys remember Cabbage Patch Kids. Huge phenomena in the early 80s that literally like decimated toy stores when the Christmas rush came around. This scene has been repeated in hundreds of stores across the country that advertise the Cabbage Patch Kids. Xavier Roberts founded Cabbage Patch Kids, originally called Little People. And each Cabbage Patch Kid came with an adoption certificate, so you were adopting the kid, not necessarily buying the kid. It was an idea not of his originally. That idea came from another doll artist, Martha Nelson Thomas. And they had a little bit of legal entanglement over the whole concept. Cabbage Patch Kids were originally licensed to Coleco, and then that license made its way around from Coleco to Hasbro, to Mattel, to a host of different toy companies, including Toys R Us directly at one point. But we're at the birthplace to take a little bit of a tour. We've made our way in. Look at all the famous people. Jack Nicholson, the Fonz with a mullet. Lisa Hartman? Telly Savalas? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Or is that an airplane pilot? I seem to remember him flying my plane one time. Heather Locklear? Dick Van Dyke? Brooke Shields? Michael Jackson? Elvira? Enough with the autographs and celebrities. Let's go in. Got a little bit of a museum. Seventy-seven, a little person, a little people. And the picture in the background is the original Babyland General Hospital. Webster George. Toby Pre Helen 1977. Hmm. Oh, this one has a little newspaper. Justin Heath, Bebo, and there's a shot of Xavier Roberts with Thomas Dale, Amber Denise, Joanne Helen. Look at this preemie. Webster Theodore B. Red. 
Xavier Roberts in the picture up there as well. Let me get over here towards the nursery. And these babies are adoptable. These guys are all adoptable in here as well. So these are all hand stitched dolls from local artists. And these run about two twenty five for adoption fees. Of note, all of these have soft heads. So these are soft head original, like little people, persons. Now we get to the general room, and these all have the classic type kids with vinyl heads. The baby Lando. Some of these kids are exclusive here. I love the smell of Cabbage Patch Kids, so I wish they would just sell like air freshener with that scent. They have all kinds of outfits here and tons of kids. Look at them all. These kids are still in their cabbages. Kids with pacifiers. Dallas Corbin. Mary Margaret. Is that a Cabbage Patch Kid crying over here? One of them is missing. Tons and tons of kids to adopt. They're on a school bus. This kid's name is Shay Charles. Um, it has fall over. Oh, too much apple juice. Sammy Thomas? And they have actual adult and kid shirts. The Cabbage Patch Kid shirts. Tie-dye. Exclusive babies. They're so cute. These kids are trying to escape. Well, what's going on here? This is my favorite so far. And they still have boxed babies as well. Nap time. Gender surprise twins. And then little tiny Cabbage Patch Cubes. So many kids to choose from. And they do have some cooses also. And inside the Babyland Delivery Nursery. Oh my god. It's Colonel Casey. Look at those babies. There's a couple babies in that cabbage incubator over there. There's no baby in like this little bassinet, but they do have the Imagicillin hooked up there. And then we have the Fable Tree. Look at these babies. We have the Imagicillin hooked up there to all of these babies in their cabbages. Head's moving. It's alive. It's 
So is that one. There's like a barrel of coffee next to the tree and the babies. Is that the secret? Oh, look at those eyes. And there's a cow watching over those babies. Anyone's first visit? Okay, quite a few. There's no need to be anxious or nervous or worried because I'm Nurse Sydney and I'm an LPN here at Babyland. For all you newcomers, that does stand for a licensed patch nurse. I'm here to assist Mother Cabbage in her delivery today. To the way that we know, Mother Cabbage has gone into labor. So the crystals around the bottom of the tree begin to glow a little bit brighter, and the bunny bees flying above my head begin to sprinkle down their magic crystal pollen. Help us determine whether or not we're going to be having a girl or a boy. Now, all babies born here at Babyland are special, but this baby is extra special because this baby already has a mommy to go home to. Is there Miss Mercedes in the audience? Hello, Miss Mercedes. How are you doing today? Good. All right. What are we hoping for, a boy or a girl? A girl. All right, let's help Mercedes out. Help her get her wish. Everybody cross your fingers really, really tight. On the count of one, two, three, we're going to say pink, 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 loud enough for the bunny bees can hear us. You ready? One, two, three. Pink, pink, pink. All right, great job. Now I'm going to take a quick little sign here to see what we will be having. So it does look like we're having a happy, healthy baby. And with all that pink, it looks like you get your wish. We are having a baby girl. So let's help Mother Cabbage get ready for this delivery. So the first thing that I'm going to do for Mother Cabbage is I'm going to give her a dose of Imagicillin. Now Imagicillin does not hurt or harm Mother Cabbage. It just helps loosen up her leaves and make for a much easier delivery. The next thing I'm going to do is give her an extra large dose of TLC. Do you know what TLC stands for, Mercedes? What does it stand for? Tender love and care. All right. Yes, it does stand for tender love and care. And here at Babyland, we believe in extra large doses of tender love and care. And lastly, I'm going to make sure Mother Cabbage has dilated a full 10 leaves. And she has. We're off to a great start. Now, this is Mother Cabbage's first delivery of the day, so she's a little nervous. Can we have her out for breathing exercises? Everybody breathe in. And out. And in. And out. One more time. Did not see all the gentlemen breathing. Big breath in. And out. All right. Great job. It looks like that helped a lot because we were ready to push. So, on the count of one, two, three, I need everybody to feel push as loud as you can. You ready? One, two, three. Right, we're going to have to be much louder than that. One, two, three. All right, Miss Mercedes, here is your baby girl. So now I'm going to wrap her up and tell you guys just a few things about her. So the first and most obvious thing I noticed about your baby girl is that she was born bald. That's okay, she's still very beautiful. Just means our interns forgot to fertilize her part of the patch last night. Then I noticed her big, gorgeous blue eyes and her cute little Addy belly button where I gently clipped her from Mother Cabbage. Now this last part can be a tad bit embarrassing, so you need everybody to promise not to laugh. Can you say, I promise? You promise, Mercedes? Like all babies born here in Babyland, she was born with the Xavier Roberts birthmark on her little bottom. So we picked up a baby. They did have an adoption naming room in there as well, so you could give it any name that you'd like, any birth date. I asked for Thomas Nicholas in honor of Tommy Lee and Nikki Six, uh, but uh, this is what I ended up with instead. But that is gonna do it for us with our trip to Babyland General Hospital. Check one more off the list. Go back in the car, stop my glasses from fogging up. But thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you wanna be treated. Have a great day. We'll see you guys.